What's up everyone? Welcome back to your Oracle SQL tutorial series. In the last video we talked about constraints and I kind of gave you the simplified easy version. It only takes a couple keywords but it has its downsides. And one of the biggest downsides is that with that method you can't name your constraints. And a lot of people like to name their constraints. That way they can refer to them by name. So that's one goal of this video. The other goal is just to kind of think through the different ways of creating constraints. Because when you make them, it seems like there's so many different ways to do it. I'm going to piece it out very simple so that way you can know exactly what the different options are. Yeah, I just got a $5 donation. Veronica, you are very sweet. I really appreciate it. We are going to start with a create table statement that looks a little something like this. So we have a table users and it has a column user ID and a data type of number. Now this doesn't actually have any constraints here, but we want to create a primary key. So the way you did that in the previous videos is you just add the keyword right after. Primary key. Pretty simple. So this is what it would look like. Now, if you want to name the constraint, you have to type two extra words. I know, it's crazy. I can't believe they're asking that much of us. So within here, you're going to write constraint and then you're gonna give it a name. So it'll look a little something like this. And we'll give it a name of users underscore PK for primary key. And I'm just gonna continue this line on the next line. Yes, guys, I know my handwriting has not gotten any better over the course of these years. Probably never will be. So as you can see, it's basically the exact same thing, except it's totally different. You have these two new words here, constraint, and then the title or the, the name of the constraint. So far, we've learned two different ways to make constraints. These were both made at the column level. That means right after the column. And we had two different possibilities, one named and one unnamed. The other possibility is actually not at the column level, it's at the table level. And what that means is we basically take this entire constraint and put it in the table as if it was its own column. Now it's not actually its own column, but syntactically that's the way it looks like. We put user ID, number, comma, and then we put the constraint on a new line. So you can say that is created at the table level. I really recommend you take a look at this and memorize it so that way you can kind of understand three main different ways of creating constraints. From simple to complex, this is the easiest, unnamed, then this is medium, and then table level is the most complex. But a lot of people like to do it at the table level, so it really just depends on what you prefer and if you work for a company, what they prefer. So to do this, it's really simple. All you gotta do is take the command you have, bring it, you, I mean, you don't have to bring it down to the next line, Theoretically, we could just put a comma here since white space doesn't really matter. And then put parentheses after it. And you have to say what column you want this primary key to be on. Because we moved it down to the table level, it's no longer associated with one column. So we have to tell it so that way it knows. Because we can't just say, hey, make a primary key and it's just supposed to know which column we want it to be on. So this is how you do it with a primary key. With different constraints, it's gonna be slightly different, but you guys get the big picture of how there's mainly three different ways you can do things. So that's it, guys. We've broken through the conceptual gap that's needed to really write good constraints. In the next video, we are going to make a named constraint for our user table. That's gonna be sweet, so we're going to get some more uh, programming experience or uh, databasing experience, whatever you wanna call it. And that's just gonna be fun, so if you really enjoy this series, Please go on to the next video, click like, subscribe, share it with your friends, and all that good stuff. Thanks guys, really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one.